Okay, folks, here's a video. Um, probably a lot of people that, uh, that have these old Jaguar, uh, I believe all the way from 99 up to 2003, while they still had the, the reverse hood. Um, one big dilemma is when the uh, stupid uh, hood release cables decide to not cooperate and you try to release and open the hood and only one of the latches works um, and releases or none of them do. Normally, you know, one will release and the other one won't. And uh, you see them in those little countersunk holes down there um, and one here. The biggest pain in the ass in these is basically um, there is no real emergency procedure to open the hood if the cable gives you problems. So anyhow, uh, what, what I've done is I have two of these cars. So um, I was lucky I was able to, you know, take and check my other um, Von Pla that uh, has a working hood. And I kind of measured more or less where the um, where this uh, hood release will be. And um, then I took the wheel off and I took the fender uh little inner fender, uh, I guess, uh, plastic uh, panel loose with these kind of little push clips. All you have to do is just, you know, take the head of this um, little clip and pull it with a, you know, just a needle nose, nose plier. And then just go in and pull this stupid uh, sp spacer out. And uh, then they all come loose. I pulled mine about halfway out so that it kind of gave me a lot of access underneath here. Um, as you can see, if you use those two uh, metal kind of tabs that stick out of the, the wheel opening there, and you kind of use that, uh, see the hole above where I've drilled, um, that's where one of those clips goes in. If you go down about two inches or so, uh, maybe two and a half, and you start drilling right around there and make a big enough hole so you could get your flathead screwdriver and poke it right in there. Um, the one on the left side was a failed attempt, <laughs> but um, the one on the uh, right hand side is the correct place to um, go ahead and drill a little hole there so you could get your flathead screwdriver in and then go ahead and poke around in there and push towards the back of the car, kind of just keep pushing and soon you'll hear a click and then the uh, the uh, hood will release. Um, same, I guess, procedure on the uh, driver's side. This is for the passenger side, but I figured you get the picture. So I hope this will help. I know it's a real uh, annoying problem. Uh, so hopefully, you know, uh, you can open up that little hole, put some, maybe some, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, plumber's putty or something like that in there um, or spray it with some, uh, you know, anti-rust paint or something like that so it doesn't start corroding. But uh, that's all for this video. I hope you like it, share it, and I hope that it helps you get your uh, hood open again. Thanks a lot.